Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a little handbag box pouch thing for you. <laughs> this is actually a variation on one I made months ago. This was my easy stick pouch, which is actually only using one piece of adhesive. And this was one of my very first videos, so probably back in May 2013 that you would find that. But it's a variation on this because I wanted to make it more purse size which is what this is and this was my original prototype that I came up with and this is the one that I decided I was going to make and then I decided I was going to change my mind completely so I want to show you how to make it really really easy it has a magnetic closing at the top but also uh, like my original that ties closed if you wanted to make this a more permanent seal at the top it will actually open at the bottom as well so you could put your bits and pieces in there um, or you could cut that bit off and you could seal it at the bottom, it's entirely up to you, but I liked the options. Um, and inside this I have got a whole load of sweeties. I've got love hearts which are quite big, they're about, what are they, they're an inch by about three and a half inches. Some little uh, swizzles, fizzers, some pretty gross palm of violets, I can't bear those things. <laughs> and it's got the magnet close, so I'm going to show you how to make it and also talk to you about where you can get the magnets from because that is always the first question that's asked of me. So grab my scoring tool you need a piece of cardstock that measures six by 11 inches and this is naturals white cardstock so it's six inches by 11 inches which is 28 centimeters by 15 centimeters and with the long side at the top you score at one inch five and a quarter inches six and a quarter and ten and a half inches which in metric you would score it at two and a half, 13 and a half, 16 and 27 centimetres. Now you need to keep this at the top. And if you put, if you look on your scoring tool, you've got measurements down the side. Where the four inch mark is, you need to put your finger there because that's going to be a rough stop because we're going to score only part way down the sides. Let me see if you can see it better on the darker one. Only going to score part way down. So if you keep your finger at the four and then you score it at half an inch, Whoops, just down to there. And then the same, you come in to the five and three quarter inch mark. And again, put your finger on the four and just roughly, and then you score it down to roughly the four inch mark, which if you're going to score it in the metric, you would do this at the one and a quarter, 1.25 centimetres and 14.3. 14.75 centimetres, so 14 and three quarter centimetres. So that's that part done. Then you turn it round so that you've got this part on the right hand side and you score it then at half an inch, one and a half inches, four and a half inches, four and a half inches, and four and three quarters of an inch. And in metric, again, keeping these half score lines to the right-hand side, you score that at one centimetres, three and a half, eleven and eleven and a half. So there we go. Right, there's some bits that you do need to cut off. So, where you need to cut, you keep these two short lines at the top. And on this side, we're going to cut at the bottom. Um, we're going to cut all the way up to the score lines and notch out until we get to this one and we're going to get rid of all of that part so that's two that's two rows that we're getting rid of and two columns so if I put it back into that fashion it's two rows sorry two rows and two columns so we get rid of four bits okay and then this section we're going to nip off there and nip off there. Okay, now on the other side we only want to leave the top two um, on the right hand, uh, the top two of this section, this large section on the right hand side. So we need to get rid of that bit and that bit first. So get rid of those. So that's that gone, so we're keeping those two and we're getting rid of everything else that is above that line. If I bring it round. So 
so you're left with that shape. Ignore the fact that I put a score line in the wrong place. So that's the shape you're left with. You need your corner rounder because you want to make it close beautifully. So these ones down here at the bottom have both of those. And then these ones at the top to make it attractive. Okay, and then these sections here, which are going to be the side tabs that close in, round those off. Oops, and the same over there. So that's the trimming and the cutting done. Here, my desk. Fold your score lines, ignore these half ones for the minute. Fold your score lines. <clears throat> burnish them. Let's fold all of those and then these half score lines we want to fold them in the opposite direction. So they're mountain and valley folds is, what is the technical term but basically if you've got the folds going like that you want this one to go in the opposite direction. Some DSP, of course, and I've got. I used um, this is pink pirouette. Sorry, I've got all my papers up at the top of my desk today. This one's pink pirouette with um, the matching designer series paper. This one is melon mambo with gingham garden, and I'm going to use the same melon uh, gingham garden, but I'm going to use this pattern this time. So we've got two pieces one that measures one inch by four inch, four inches. This is the one that's going to go on the lid so you just round off one corner so that it matches and then the other one is one and five eighths of an inch by four inches and round all four of those corners and in metric the top one is ten and a half centimeters by three centimeters and the other one is ten and a half by three and a half centimeters so that's the one at the bottom okay, let's grab my snail So you can see that the box is beginning to come together. So we know that this is the top, this one that's got nothing where we've removed everything. So I'm going to put this onto this section. And this one here is going to come round because this is how the box is going to fold over. So we need to put our poker on here but close to the bottom. Let's build a box. Only need one piece of sticky strip. Aren't I good to you? Oh, not too much sticking going on. Which is a good thing because sticky strip hates me. And if you keep that close to the score line of this little section that's all on its own, and then you fold that flat onto your worktop and push over. And that and you fold this bit over and because we've beautifully rounded these edges it will slot in easily that's the box closed so you pinch in the sides and it's going to come over like that so I'm going to put the magnets on which are currently residing on my lamp and these are neodymium ma uh, magnets they are 8mm by 1mm so very 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 small you need two of those oh <laughs> so strong um, but they will fire all over the table but separating them you can get them off ebay and there is a, a seller there called guys magnets and he will sell all over the world so it doesn't matter where you are so glue dots work really very well with these pop a glue dot on the back the middle of the lid and push really firmly really 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 firmly and then to stop because they are so strong if you didn't put something between them, you would just be constantly pulling them off the, the box. So I've got the tiny little circle, which is from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. I have two of those. Grab a glue dot again onto the back of that and then over there. And then I'm going to put this magnet, sounds very complicated, onto there. 
So you need to put it onto the original one with a glue dot on the back, then close your box, positioning the lid where you want it to go. And if you push down really hard, and I'm pushing really very firmly, what you will do is leave the magnet in exactly the position you want, but obviously it's still going to be quite strong. So another mini glue dot onto that other one, over the top, and it also hides the fact that you've got a magnet there. And then that will, whoops, if you don't throw it around, that will close up beautifully. There you go, see? And you can still open it. And it will close down again and it will open and close and I, I have used velcro in the past i hate it because it just shreds rips and it's just not good and that was my magnets going back on my lamp right little bit of stamping because we're coming up to valentine's day i've chosen the love you more set now this is on limited supply it runs out on the 27th of january so you can only get it for a short while longer bit of whisper white my Melon Mambo ink. One of those. And I'm going to punch this with the one inch circle punch. And then I've got a one and a half, no, one and a quarter inch circle punch that I'm going to dazzle you with. Bit of Melon Mambo cardstock. Punch that out as well. Whoops. Some dimensionals. I have one on the back of the little heart. One on the back of there. And I'll pop that down here. And then I have got a whisper white button from the neutrals designer buttons pack and I've tied some melon mambo one eighth of an inch ribbon and I've already tied it in a knot and then stuck it onto the button with a glue dot and then a few on the back of that just a couple of mini glue dots on the back of that and then that will go over the top there and of course you need to fill it so I've got some more love hearts and I've got some more fizzers a couple of those in there Oops, we're trying to escape. And that is the little purse. And it's very sweet, very easy to make. They look adorable. You can, I can imagine a whole load of these, if I position them like that, lined up on a craft table at a craft fair or something like that. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry this is a slightly longer video than, than I normally do. I do try to make them quick, but it is a slightly com more complicated trim. And this was the original, so go back and have a look at that. I think I just called it the Easy Stick Box, probably about May time. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Bye.